Hey, what's up everyone, Mike here. Uh, I came across this really cool TWRP custom recovery theme and figured I'd share it with you guys and just show you the really simple setup process in case you were interested and wanted to check it out. And I will just very simply show you the easiest way to go about putting this on your TWRP. So if you're like me and you flash a lot, you're always checking out different ROMs or you're just always in TWRP recovery doing what you're doing in order to get your device customized, this might be something that may be of interest to you. So first and foremost, you're going to navigate into the links in the description below and get all the proper files before you proceed. But you can go ahead and watch this video first if you want to, or you can follow along. But uh, you're going to notice this XDA page here with the TWRP materialized dark light and Google Play theme options. There's three different options, but you can change the colors within these themes as well. So some really cool features here. You can also adjust the TWRP splash screen. And that's more of what I want to help you with because it was a little interesting to figure out at first for me. And I figured I'd simplify that process for you guys, make it a little bit easier if you're uh, interested in this. But go ahead and scroll down to the download section here. Now, if you are using a Nexus 6 like me or something similar with a 2K screen, you are going to need to get the 1440-2560 theme folder. Uh, go ahead and go in there and you'll be able to, or excuse me, I should have said Quad HD display. I don't know why I said 2K. But anyway, go in here and you're going to navigate to the TWRP uh, 285X V1. This is going to have the latest TWRP files you're going to need. So just scroll down here. You can choose all three of them or you can choose which one you want specifically. They have a dark light or a Google Play edition. So this is, Google Play is going to have like multiple color themes throughout instead of just one singular uh, color. So if you want to check all of them out, I, I recommend you just get them all. You're also going to notice there is a splash uh, in the 1440 folder on the very first page, I do believe. Yeah, here it is, splash screen. So go ahead and make sure you get that file as well. That's a zip file that you can extract and uh, make a TWRP splashes folder or something like that because it's going to have a lot of different splash screens in there. And you're going to want to choose which splash you want to use for your splash screen throughout this process. But to simplify this, I'm just going to show you guys real quick. Once you have the files, go ahead and navigate through your file explorer uh, application of choice to where you downloaded those themes. You're going to have that dark play white. So go ahead and choose which one you want. You're going to have to rename this to a UI zip uh, in order to manually install the first theme. Once you have the first theme manually installed, you can then select through the theme process itself which one you want to use. So once you have this, go ahead and rename it to UI, just UI.zip, hit OK, and then copy or cut whatever you want to do uh, Go back to your system or main storage directory and navigate to your TWRP directory. So once you're in here, you're going to create a new folder. And this is going to be called theme, just theme, not themes or anything like that. Just theme, T-H-E-M-E. And you're going to create that folder or directory. And then you're going to paste that UI zip, that renamed theme UI.zip into this folder. Once you've done that, that's pretty much all there is to it. Go ahead and reboot into your custom recovery, whether you have the option through your ROM or if you have to hold down the power and volume rocker. But go into your custom recovery. Now you're going to see here, I already did the splash screen, so you're going to see it's different than yours. That's the one I chose. It's just a dark or light gray. And I'll show you how to switch that up and how to go through that installation process. It's a little difficult. But you can see right here, I have the materialized theme. So very, very different than the regular defaulted TWRP uh, theme. And you can go up in here, you're going to have a little palette you know, a little tray palette for the colors. And right here, you're going to have the Essent color. You can go in here and you can change your colors. Now, you can't completely customize it, you know, based on whatever color you want to pick, you know, within a grid or what have you. But you can change it. You have a lot of different features here. And sometimes it will reboot the entire recovery. Sometimes it will just happen. So it's a little weird. Like this time, it just rebooted my recovery entirely. Sometimes it will just go straight. You know, after a couple seconds, it will just go boom. And there's your color. So it's a little weird. Uh, in that sense, so don't flip out if it just restarts your recovery. It's just the way it, it is. But you'll see all the colors have indeed changed, and it's pretty cool. I mean, it's really nice. It's easy to navigate. Uh, you know, it's very simple to figure out. You know, same stuff, swipe over. The only thing that's a little weird to me is if you power off and you have to swipe over. You know, you can't just swipe up. You have to swipe it over. You'll see it fill with the color that you choose really slowly, but it fills up and it's pretty cool. You have your, you know, nav bar, your lollipop nav bar look there and your materialized theme throughout. Um, this is in fact just the white version and you can change the theme. So you can in fact change your theme here. Now you can change the splash, but be aware it won't actually change the splash until you flash the zip file. So um, I will include that in the description. It's uh, called, let me go ahead and show you real quickly how to do this. So we're going to hit install and we're going to flash this update. You're gonna see right here, it says update 
AIK dot mobile dot installer version one dot whatever it's going to be currently when you flash but go ahead and flash this just go ahead and boom flash it over and it will just take a second and i do recommend that you go ahead and, and just reboot the recovery itself just to make sure everything is processed properly and that's in, installed correctly but this is basically going to let you flash or uh, compress a new image for the recovery to use splash screen. So if you're not interested in changing the splash screen, you can skip this step. But uh, just to show you real quickly how it works, you can go back up into that color palette and then you can change your splash. So once that is in fact flashed over, you install that AIK update thing. Uh, you know, there's a lot of information in the description and I'll put it down there so you can follow that link to the XDA forum and read about it if you want to before you flash it. But uh, it basically just makes it a lot simpler of a process otherwise you have to do windows processes and stuff like that but you are going to need to update or download the latest update of twrp because you are going to basically repack the twerp and then reflash it with the splash screen you choose so once you navigate to the latest version of twrp you download which is 2850 as of this video go ahead and select that you'll see it has stock twrp recovery image so we'll select that file then go figure out which splash image you want to use so i have a splash extracted folder here just twrp splash and then it has all the different splash screens in here you know all the different color options i'm going to go ahead and choose dark uh, let's go with light green i have no idea what it looks like but you're going to want to select install repack recovery with that so make sure you select each accordingly you want and then swipe it over it's going to basically repack the image Going to take a few moments here and then once that is done it should present you with another screen okay you're obviously going to get this screen and you're going to want to do your recovery partition don't hit boot you'll run into some issues there so make sure you hit recovery and then swipe it over and then you're, you'll be good to go it should have that new splash screen on there so you're just going to hit reboot twrp and then you'll see the new splash screen should be in fact applied so once it goes over there it is. So now I have that light green or whichever one I chose with the dark material theme look. So that's that process of doing splash. It's not too complicated. It was a little interesting to figure out at first because when I went to the XDA thread, there was a lot of information to take in. And I was just like, okay. And then I figured it out real quickly after that. Figured I'd simplify it for you guys. It's, it's not really hard. Um, so let's say you want to change the theme to something else. Let's go ahead and try the dark. So I'll navigate to my directory. You'll see the dark theme there. And you'll just hit OK. Pretty sure I... Okay, so it's basically loading it. So there it is. Sometimes, like I said, it will reboot the entire recovery. Sometimes it will just do it. It's a little weird, buggy, whatever. But that's the dark theme. And you can change the colors in here. You have all the options. It's pretty cool. And I'll go ahead and show you real quickly what the Google Play one looks like. I actually like the Play theme a lot. It looks really, really nice. And it actually changes the color throughout uh, the menus and everything so it's not just one color every time like the others so you'll see the icons here and that will basically be the color in the menu you go into so this is like a purple in the mount so it'll be purple up here you give it that materialized look wipe has that like pink red you know everyone sees a different color red so I don't know what you'll see but that looks red pink to me uh, you have the blue and it just you know it goes throughout and it's just it looks really nice it's a lot more simplified a lot more easy to read I think uh, the basic TWRP theme is pretty ugly in my opinion. It's a little outdated. I mean, it's been there for years, but it's pretty cool that you have the option to come in here. Again, Android, you know, customizable. You can come in here and change it as well. Uh, and you got your little lollipop nav bar and you have your percentage, time, everything looks legit. Anyway, guys, that pretty much sums up this little theme video. I'm sorry if it took a little bit longer than most to explain, but I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did in fact enjoy it, punch that like button and give me the thumbs up and definitely subscribe to my channel if you did, in fact, enjoy this video, as I have more stuff like this in the future coming your way. And as always, I will catch you guys in the next one.